everybody, this is Pearl. I'm coming to you live from ETA College and today we have my wonderful lecturer Kaz and we're going to be teaching her how to do a swing. Okay Kaz, so the most important thing with the swing, a couple of quick things, is triple extension. Firstly, before you do a triple extension, I want you to take a look at the hips. We're going to start with the preventing from the hips. So when you are going down to pick up the bell, I don't want you to squat into it. I want you to hinge from the hips here. Let's keep the kettle bell in place. So take your kettle bell and put it about a foot in front of you. Okay? You're going to hinge from the hips here. You're going to grab the kettle bell with both palms, palms facing towards the middle of the legs. What you're going to do before you start swinging, you're going to swing back, allow that kettle bell to swing all the way back to the back of the groin. When you come up, I want you to focus on getting into what we call a triple extension. A triple extension is simply straight ankle, straight knee, straight hip. So swinging in. Now when you swing, I want you to keep that back in a nice neutral spine, chin facing forward. So swinging here and bringing it there. As you lock, lock and pop very aggressively, swing it in, lean down. Don't bend into it from here. I'll show you what it looks like. So from here, up here, bend forward and pop in aggressively there. And the breath is like this. So breathe in, there. Okay, let's try it together. Right, so we're bending forward from the hips, keeping that back nice and straight, keep the eyes facing forward, ready, breathe in and swing back. Good, try not to go too high, so we're going to, with more aggression and pop those hips in. Beautiful, nice, breathe, pop in, lock, yes, beautiful job Kaz, yes, lovely, good, lovely stuff, looking good. Yes, how are we feeling? Good. Lovely. Can you feel it in the glutes? Feel yeah. it in the hamstrings? Am I supposed to say successful? The swing. Now we're going to be moving on to a goblet squat. It's very, very similar to a normal squat. You know the squat rules. Keeping the body weight onto the heels and sitting back down. Now, the difference with this is we're going to add the kettlebell. It adds a little bit of aggression. So what, you, what I want you to do is get into that loading position and I want you to grab the kettlebell's body bones here. When you bring it up, I want you to put it in what we call the knee swing position. So just sort of between the breast line here, and I want you to squeeze the elbow, I say shoulder. <laughs> squeeze the el uh, elbows together from here. You can either point your toes out or straight forward, it's up to you. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to use the weight of the kettlebell to push you down. As you get down, I want you to drive through the heels, squeezing through those glutes, lifting up holding that kettlebell, so using the weight to take you down and squeezing up through those glutes. All right, so let's get into a little bit of that loading position. As you remember, low arc here. As we sit, we're grabbing on the side of the horn. So we want to get that resting into the breast here. All right, so if you can't touch elbows, it's fine, yeah? It's fine, absolutely okay. fine, because obviously we all have a different, <laughs> but as close together, sucking in that core, nice and straight. Squeeze those shoulder blades and suck in. All right, so if you want to be sitting onto the weight, try not to lean too far forward, try and keep it as low. Use the weight of the kettlebell to actually pull you down. Beautiful. Are we triple extending up as well? Like? Yes, please do. As you come up, triple extend up. So we're going low. When you squeeze in, extend. Squeeze into those glutes. Squeeze into those hamstrings. Keep that body weight. Try not to lean forward. Try and sit as straight as you can. Beautiful. If you can, you can go into a lower, which is a goddess squat, which will work more into the inner. Beautiful Ooh. job. Yes. Do you feel the difference? Yeah. <laughs> so we move from glutes almost to the inner thigh, which is beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, Kaz. Good job. We are now moving on to what we call the clean. Okay, so similar to the swing position, we're going to go into that loaded position. This time we're using only one hand. So, of course, legs hip width apart, suck your core in, keep that back nice and neutral, straight. What you want to do is just Get the thumb towards the midline of the groin. What you're going to do for me is you're going to take a deep breath in, okay? As you breathe in, you're going to swing your, your thumb towards the glute. So swing in. And as you come up, rotate it, rotate it. What you want to do is you want to end with that thumb dead to the midline and you want to rest the, uh, the kettlebell in the heel right here. So rolling down, swinging in and up bringing it here, catching it in. When you catch it in, I want you to focus on that triple extension, suck the core, get into that. We good? Yeah. Let's do it slowly without the bell. So from here we're in that position, breathe in, rotate, boom, catch, nice and aggressively and breathe in. Got it? Yeah. Let's try 
try with the kettle bell. Right, so that finger is holding the horn and we're ready in, balance in. Nice flat back, relax and swing. Yeah, no, just keep that. If you want to, just make sure that you're getting it into the V. So if you're looking over here, yeah. get it nice into the V, catch it in, lock in, suck in, and drop, rotate down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so am I catching it like on my bicep? Not in the bicep, try to get it sort of into the V of the arm. So okay. into that position. And then lock and pop. And get it to the Woo. Nice, Kaz. Good job. Swing lower. And good, lovely job. Swing lower. You can go more aggressively on your swing. That's it. You want that to touch. Beautiful job, Kaz. Are you feeling it? I feel like I'm having a blues, blues, but we're good. <laughs> good. Awesome job. Remember, we're working that lower back. Good job. Good, good Kaz. That clean. How did you feel with that? Good. I do feel like I'm be a little bit bruised. <laughs> so okay. Good. For that bruising, when when you actually bring it into that clean position, try to keep the elbow, the elbow. The wrist kind of straight because what happens is when you sort of tweak it in, it sort of tips onto the back, and that's where that swelling. So for that we can tweak it. So now we're going to use the clean, but we're going to go into what we call the front box. So we're going to tweak that again, a further progression on the squat. So instead of doing one clean, we're going to do two. So the legs are slightly wider apart because obviously when you're swinging through, you don't want to, to clank together. So again, grabbing it with the thumbs facing back, you want to swing in here, come into a double clean here. When you're in that double P, I want you to squat here nice and low. You will feel it through the P. So I want you to use the weight to lower you down. So really take your time. So you can just go one, two, three, squeeze into that. One, two, and then three. All right, let's give that a try, class. So from a clean into a front squat, a progression of what you have done, which is fantastic. You're probably going to feel it in the hip flexors. So working through those hip flexors, working into that lower back. Good. Right, you can bring your legs slightly together. There. there you go. Yeah. If, if you're feeling like it's too intense with the toes, I'll try and bring the toes in a little bit to see where you feel most comfortable. So okay. breathe in and out. Sitting nice and low. Good. Keep your chin parallel. There we go. Beautiful. Keep pushing back. Lovely job. Keep those knees all the way back. your back part of it too, huh? Yes. It's working the lower back just like the other exercise did. So building a stronger back, getting rid of that lower back pain. Beautiful job, Kaz. Sitting as low as you can go, feeling cut one, two, three, breathe, shoot, lock, and one, two. Can you feel the weights pulling oh, you down? Yes. Squeeze into those glutes. Beautiful. Can you feel it in the inner thighs? I can feel Christmas melting Lovely away. Lovely job. <laughs> I love the sound of that. <laughs> awesome. Three more. Let's make it two more for you. So let's slow it down. Let's do this last one nice and slow. Three. From that now let's give those legs a little bit of a break not too much Thank just you. a little bit <laughs> we're going to be going into the snatch now if you remember the uh, clean we did yeah this is we're going to break it down into three parts called a snatch so swing clean load okay yeah. i'll show you what it looks like so again into that loading position we're going to use one hand this time so you can use the swing sort of catch it here that's two and straight up you want to make sure that you're engaging through that core into that triple lock position here when you go up really punch it up with a lot of power keep that arm close to the ear rotate it down back to that position lower to the ground there you want to try it out slowly and just see if you can get that okay let's give it a try so face the kettlebell horn towards the middle yeah you can try it with a swing do you want to go straight up or do you feel like you need let's, a swing let's go with a swing okay so a, little, a slight swing let's get that back nice and flat in into that clean and then push overhead suck in nice and tight Bring it back to that clean position and bring it down. Let's do one more like that. Let's go in, clean, up, clean, down. Let's swap the arm. Let's try it slowly with the other one. Then we're going to do it in one fluid motion. Ready, go. Clean, up, push. Good. <laughs> so horrible arm. You have to alternate. Working both sides of the body. One more there. Clean and up. Good girl. And down. Right. Woo. Let's go back to the right hand. Now I want you to keep it into one fluid motion. So you can go from swing in. And push. Try not to stop there. So you want to go straight from here. So yeah. Bum, bum, push, and squeeze. Remember, squeeze into that triple extension. Push and down. You can even pause a little bit at the top. Let's give it a try, guys. We'll do one on each side and see how that goes. Ready and swing in. Up. Good job. Breathe. Shh. 
beautiful job. Suck in that core. Lighten, squeeze through those glutes on the way up. I have the dumb arm. Good. To the side and up. Give it a nice punch up and really squeeze. Really working into that shoulder flex and working strong Woo! shoulders. Good job. Squeeze into those glutes on the way up. Squeeze. Lock and pop. Beautiful. One more on the other side. One on each side and we're done. Ready and pop. Good job, Kaz. Don't forget to breathe. Squeeze. Lock in those quads. Lock in those knees. Awesome job. You did that, girl. Well done. <laughs> do the final exercise this is one of the most technical ones of the kettlebell it's called the turkish get up the tgu all right so i'm going to have you watch me quickly i'm not going to use the kettlebell so we can go through and show you that all right so what you want to do is lay in that supine position so laying on your back relax nicely you want to roll over on the position you will be grabbing the kettlebell with both hands i'm not going to lift the kettlebell but you will hold it with both hands okay let me do it because it's fine Okay, so you're holding it here, lift it up. The, the most important thing with this kettlebell uh, uh, has is to ensure that you never take your hand off your hand, your hands and your eyes, of course. <laughs> All right, so you're going to lay that arm out to the side, keeping it there. We're going to roll over onto that elbow, okay? From the elbow onto the hand, lift that hip up, keep those eyes there. Thread that leg through into kneeling. Position yourself, suck that core, kneel up. When you're ready, get ready, drive through that foot and come up into that position. Hold, power position, getting ready to go down. And take note, I have not taken my eyes off. Back down to kneeling. Drop that hand, thread that leg through, drop the hip to the ground. Elbow, roll down, keeping the eye there. Get ready, roll over, grab that kettlebell with both hands. Drop it down, roll over. And lower it down, bringing it there. When you're ready to go over to the Gunapin, I just want to show you how you go over. You grab it with both hands and you swing it over to the other side. We're only going to do one today. So we'll bring it back this way. This is just to show you when you're going to do the alternate side. All right, do you think you can try that? I mean, I'll work with you, girl. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, so let's lie down nicely. Okay, so what you're going to do is you roll over and grab the triple bell with both hands. Beautiful job. Get it onto your chest area, roll it up. I want you to lock this elbow. Okay. Really feel that power through that arm. All right, lay your arm down, lift up the right knee, roll over onto that hip. As you roll over into the hip, I want you to raise the body up onto that elbow, onto the hand. Feeling good? Yeah. Thread this leg, lift that hip up. Now thread this leg through into the back, onto the knee. Beautiful job, secure and lift up. And now push up, power up through into that push up, hold. Three, two, good. Now let's take it back down. Knee, lovely job. Hand, keep your eyes. Excellent. Thread that leg through, keep that hip high. Drop that hip to the ground. Elbow, keep those eyes there. Roll down onto that back. Grab the kettlebell with both hands and roll it over. That's also another option of then you can do. Oh, whoopsie, sorry. That's fine, no, it's fine. That's, that's, that's another option that you can do. How did that feel? 